Simple Life presents Ways You Are Wasting Money Without Knowing It Since money was invented, people have been doing their level best to acquire it. There's no wonder why the abundance of money in one's pockets equals freedom. Money has always been difficult to earn, let alone save. If you are an employee, you have to trade off 8 hours each and every day in order to put food on the table. If you do the math and check the latest studies, one third of your life is spent at work. If you're an entrepreneur, you might work even more than that. One of the ways to help manage your money better is to start tracking your spending. If you do this over a month you might be surprised at where your money is going. For some people, it might seem obvious. For example, you may think you spend most of your money on groceries and food or petrol and traveling. It is a very useful and worthwhile exercise because it allows you to see what you spend your money on, where you can save, and then work towards managing your money better. There are many things we spend money on that we don't perhaps even give much thought to. Here are ways you're wasting money without knowing it. 1. Taking advantage of special deals. When you're shopping online or offline, you'll come across a lot of special deals, discounts, and coupons. For example, $1 products that would otherwise sell for $10 are extremely tempting. The fear of missing out is a common effective strategy used by brands to trigger quick emotional buying responses. When you buy a $1 product that you'll probably never use, you are basically wasting money. If you buy some unhealthy products because they're at discount, you are sacrificing your health. In the long term, the medical bills will cost way more than the money you have saved when purchasing that product. If you have a well-defined grocery list and they are products that you need, look for good promotion and go for it. However, never fall in their trap unless you absolutely need what you're about to buy. 2. Buying impulsively. Impulsive shopping is one of the quickest ways to run out of budget unexpectedly. You think you know what you have to get, but that great jacket you've just noticed is smiling heavily at you. You buy it, and so your planned budget is gone. You now have to get more money to buy what you actually need right now, like food or other necessary stuff. If you want to be a money saver, you should acknowledge your impulsive purchasing behaviors. Whether you do it online or offline, spending money on things that immediately promise pleasure, status, or appreciation from others will never help. 3. Forgetting about subscriptions. Last year, you might have subscribed to a service that was relevant to you. The price was so small, that you haven't even paid much attention. $5 per month for this subscription. A year passed, and a lot of money is missing from your bank account. You might be thinking that it's a problem with your bank, or some hacker stealing your money. When you check, you realize that you have 5 running subscriptions that steal away over $100 each month. Never forget to cancel them as soon as you stop using them. 4. Using your card too much and paying ATM fees. Using a credit card all the time might bring a tricky and unexpected disadvantage. Leveraging your credit card is easy and quick, you just tap the card and boom, the exchange is made. On the other hand, when you use cash, you feel something different because you actually feel the trade-off. You realize that you're exchanging your hard-earned money for the product in front of you. Therefore, using your card is not always to your advantage. Your purchasing decisions might be influenced by the convenience and simplicity of the trade, and that's never good when you want to save money. On top of that, ATM fees can cost you a lot throughout an entire year, so make sure you always use your bank to perform operations. 5. Eating out and buying too many drinks. Eating out and buying too many drinks while can significantly hurt your budget. 
Think about it. When you're at work, how many coffees are you buying each week? How about each month? How about each year? When you go to a restaurant or at a coffee place, are you used to ordering bottled water? Water at $2 or $3 is a heavy price. Instead, you can carry your own bottle of water, your own bottle of coffee, and maybe some sandwiches in case you get hungry. Prepare for these needs at home, and you'll save a lot of money along the way. 6. Buying too cheap or too expensive products. If you choose a cheap product over an expensive one, you're often sabotaging yourself. I'm not talking about choosing a brand name over a no name because big brand products often offer the same quality and value. I'm strictly talking about choosing something cheap that's much more likely to become broken sooner than you expect. Electronics are a good example. If you buy second hand, you might find yourself throwing that piece of technology in a matter of weeks. Any guarantees? No. However, if you seek clothes, buying at secondhand is not a shame, and it's surely going to help you save more bucks. If you seek furniture, a car, or a bike, buying them at secondhand is quite advisable. 7. Paying for things you can do yourself. It's nice to pamper yourself once in a while, but paying for services you could do yourself is also a good way to waste money. Dyeing your own hair, giving yourself a manicure or pedicure, waxing or plucking your own eyebrows, and mowing the lawn instead of hiring someone are all ways you can save by doing it yourself. We all have our commodities. If we allow them to thrive and influence our purchasing decisions all the time, we might be wasting a lot of money without even realizing it. 8. Buying too much in bulk. Buying in bulk is tempting, and for good reasons. A lot of bulk items are a smart purchase because the per unit price is cheaper, but make sure what you are stocking up on isn't something that can go bad. Think, toilet paper, not spaghetti sauce. 9. Procrastinating. Planning a trip in a few months? Don't procrastinate on buying those plane tickets or booking that hotel room. Chances are, the prices will never be cheaper than at that very moment. Sure, last-minute deals are great, but they're hard to come by. 10. Choosing convenience over savings. Whether it's paying for a cab, instead of hopping on public transportation, or ordering out instead of cooking at home, there's always a more appealing, more convenient option out there. Purchases of convenience may seem to have a relatively low upfront cost, and while that may be true in the short term, over time those low costs pile up. 11. Reap the benefits of saving, not spending. All of us crave for more money, one way or another. We may work overtime for it, we may sacrifice a relationship, or we may damage our health, only for money. But when it comes to saving it instead of earning it, we become negligible. If you are wasting your money, stop right now. Respect it and reap its positive benefits in a better way. Check out the link below for your free audiobook from Audible. If you like the video do subscribe, like, and comment. Do hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification. Thank you for watching.